This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. In 1915, 15-year-old Zula Mae Barker, my mother, landed at Ellis Island from Bridgetown, Barbados, certain that many opportunities awaited her. After nearly two weeks on the ocean, most of the passengers had taken sick. Steerage passengers had miserably hot and muggy accommodations, but to her, the ship was a floating palace. She was on her way to New York. She was especially excited to see the place she'd heard most about, the place where all of the colored people went, Harlem. But soon Zulame found herself the mother of two girls, unwed, with a husband in the service. A new step in the evolution of dance had begun in Harlem. The new dance, at first called simply the hop, was pioneered by dancers like Shorty Snowden, a small man of five feet two inches, who danced a comedy act with his partner Big B, who was a towering six feet. In May, Charles Lindbergh became a folk hero when he made the world's first solo flight across the Atlantic. Because of the new dance's own delightful solo hops, the dance was called the Lindy Hop. It was in Chicago when we were performing a Saturday matinee with Red Fox that we heard that Martin Luther King Jr. and his followers were being beaten. We all were keeping up with the news of the civil rights movement. And I guess we all felt guilty about being on the sidelines and not out there with King. We tried to do something to help, but we were hundreds of miles away. I guess the news made a lot of us feel like cowards. In October of 1940, they had opened Cabin in the Sky with Ethel Waters at the Beck Theater. On the other side came Agnes DeMille with her 1943 introduction of modern ballet in Oklahoma. This wonderful audiobook is the history of dance and Norma Miller's part in it. All around the world, all kinds of dance and all kinds of swing music. She also worked with Red Fox and later became a comedian. You'll also hear fascinating tales from Norma Miller about her years in Hollywood. I had been away from New York a long time, and naturally the first place I visited was Harlem. As I walked through the streets of Harlem, I was flooded with memories. It was all changed now. It brought tears to my eyes, seeing what was left of that great time in history. It was the home of the big bands, Chick Webb, the Savoy Sultans, Benny Goodman, Teddy Hill, Ella Fitzgerald, and Billie Holiday had begun their careers there, but there was no sign of them now. The swing music and swing dance that once thrived there should have been preserved, like New Orleans jazz. Enjoy this sweeping history of the 20th century, its music, its dance, Nora Miller, and all of the greats. And keep on swinging. Remember, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing.